Hello friends! I hope you've been enjoying these myth videos as much as I've enjoyed making them. Today we're going to tell a Cree story. This one is about the boy who was raised by Bear. As Bear was going about his business, he found a boy alone in the woods. Knowing that a small child would not be able to protect himself, he took pity on the child and brought it to his den. For the next several years, Bear treated this boy as his own child, taught him how to find blueberries in summer, how to store fat for winter, how to fish the streams. But as many things do, not everything would remain pleasant forever. One fall, the child's father began to sing with might and magic in his song. The bear heard the singing and sang back, claiming the child as his own. But bear was unable to overpower the man's song. For as the man continued singing, bear forgot the words and knew that time was coming that the man would return to claim his child. The next time they heard the man's song was winter. Man sang with great vigor and fierceness. And Bear again attempted to lay his claim and sang to the best of his ability, but was overpowered by the song of the man. The next day, the bear told the child, I feel your father is coming, and that my end is near. The father started walking directly towards the bear's den. The bear, not wishing to let the child go, thought of a variety of ways to dissuade him, to turn the man from his path. First, the bear attempted to use porcupine to dissuade man from following throwing porcupine directly in the man's path. Unbothered, the man simply leapt over the porcupine and continued on his straight path. The next day, Bear threw out Beaver to dissuade the man, but Beaver was not successful. The third day, Bear threw out Partridge, who, like the others, the man just ignored and continued walking straight in his path. Realizing the man's power was greater than his own, Bear then moved on to magic. He rolled onto his back, put his forelimbs in the air, and called down lightning from the heavens. But the father continued, undeterred by the storm, the wind, and the lightning. Knowing that the boy's father was going to kill him, Bear offered one last protection to the boy. Removing one of his own forelimbs, he instructed the boy to wrap it and keep it covered, protected always within his tent. As long as he kept this covenant, he would always know where to find Bear to hunt. All he would need to do is stand above on the highest point, look across the land, and where he saw smoke, he would find a bear. The child's father then broke the snow round the bear's den. Bear went out and met man in fierce battle. But as bear had predicted, he was slain. Man collected his child, who clung to the forelimb, and returned back to the people. where, as instructed, the boy hung the bear's forelimb, wrapped bound tightly to the top of his tent. The boy eventually married and became renowned for his capacity to always find bear when it was time to hunt. Other hunters grew envious of him. As time went on, the boy became a man, and he married. He became one of the most renowned hunters in the land, always knowing where to find bear. 
due to the totem he had received. Many others sought to learn his secrets, to learn how to find Bearer Lion. After several years of gaining renown, another hunting group joined his, trying to uncover his secrets. One day, while the hero and the other men were out hunting, one of the women entered his tent secretly and began unwrapping the forelimb. Immediately, the hero realized what was happening and rushed back to the tent. But it was too late. She had uncovered his secret. So he told her, On the morrow, stand at the highest point and where you see smoke. There your husband will find bear to hunt. After she had left, the hero removed his ammo pouch and clothing and sat in his usual place. The leg instantly fell upon him, and both he and the leg were swallowed by the earth. It is said that he turned into a bear himself that day. I hope you enjoyed the story. I know I'm enjoying telling them. If you have any myths or legends you'd like me to portray or, or tell, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll always be notified when I put out new videos. Until next time, walk in the light, my friend. Bye!